Hello, so I got an opportunity to film Matthias, who is a DNB artist, DNB, drum and bass, in case you didn't know, and it was pretty wild. So I wanted to go over a little bit how I graded some of the effects, how I did this edit and what problems I tackled so you could avoid them. That is of course if you shoot these kinds of events. I don't know. But let's continue. So let's get right into it. <laughs> Actually, this ain't no joke. One of the main problems with nightclub events is that you have to be able to go into the crowd to get those great crowd emotion shots. And there were actually quite many times someone hit my lens. So you have to take the risk and you gotta be ready for that. So the camera, the camera I used is a7 IV and what I switched between is this Tamron 28 to 75, uh, 2.8 and this one which is Tokina 11 to 16 millimeters 2.8 with uh, it's a Canon mount so Canon adapter. Some shots I wanted to do with a gimbal so Ronin S with a Ronin S but with this type of music you really want to go handheld so a lot of movements like this. Now even the simple cutting stage for the clips uh, takes a lot of time because you want to find the clips that match. Definitely spend some time to filter out those clips uh, where you can see that you can create transitions between the two clips and get the overall feeling of the video just nice. spot on. Just have the overall feel for the clip. Definitely takes a lot of time to get a feeling for that because just using random clips in a row. God, please, no! No! Now I also want to show you this intermission part, which I think you don't see a lot in after movies. But I took a little gamble and created this more sort of a artsy type of beat, type of thing. <laughs> so here's so here's the artsy bit. So I also want to talk. So I also want to talk about this effect, which I wanted to do for so long, ever since I saw it in one of those Ultra After movies, maybe. And I have wanted to try this for so long. So here's how I did it. So firstly, I set my clip to After Effects using Dynamic Link and I used a roto brush to make a quick auto tracking subject mask for video. Next I duplicated my rotoscoped clip. I chose the bottom layer and went to effect controls to disable my roto selection. Now the bottom layer is a whole clip and top layer is only our subject. I created an adjustment layer for the effect and placed it in between the clips to create this isolation for the subject. The effect I used is VR digital glitch which comes stock with Adobe and voila! Also, let's talk a little about this effect. Which I think it was pretty cool. The picture overlays effect, which uh, I, kind of, I kind of played around with in the old winter movie. Which hopefully comes after this winter season. A new winter movie. So I used a lot of these paper cut overlays and positioned the pictures on top and mask them right out with the paper cuts. I think it was a pretty nice effect. So I hope you enjoyed this video. Leave a like if you did and a subscribe would be awesome. And yeah, see you soon.